this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning and today we are going to take a fully registered project and we are going to create uh, a larger uh, model from it. Uh, we're going to take a piece of what was scanned. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, create new scans with uh, just including the piece that you want to pull from the project and then you can drop that particular piece into another project, whether you're looking to see if it's going to fit or uh, work it through uh, sort of an array of, of things if you needed to do some class detection or things like that. So what we've got here again is a fully registered project. If we can jump into uh, the 3D here. As you can see, as we're loading, we've got a large conveyor belt. And what we're going to try to center in on here is going to be just a portion of this conveyor. And we're going to just uh, create a model of somewhere here uh, in the middle of it. So the easiest way to do this is going to be to go ahead and jump into the old interface. And uh, once again, let's take a look at what we're actually going to be doing this uh, particular model creation. If we do our um, project in correspondence view, we need to go ahead and jump into our actual cluster to do that. We need to be able to see where all of our scans are in relation to the piece that we want to actually clip out. <clears throat> The piece that we're going to be working with is this solid piece here. And as you can see, we've got several scans that are going to have access to it in different angles. Uh, number five, number nine, number four, and triple zero here. Uh, we all want to have different uh, angles on this particular piece right here in the middle. Uh, it's important to look at it this way because we are going to have to open quick view of any scan that has a, a good vantage point of it. So the best thing to do is begin by writing down the number of the, the scan numbers that we're going to be working with. So we five, nine, four, and triple zero. So by jumping in here, we'll go triple zero first. And uh, here's the piece that we're looking at. Now what we're going to be looking for is we're going to have to use a polygon selector. Uh, because of the angle and it's just uh, it's like a, using a razor blade instead of uh, an axe so we'll just run up we try to stay as close as we can to the piece that we're going to be working on It'll be less to cut out later um, and we'll just click that in now once we've uh, used the polygon to select our piece we need to go in here into scan points now if we right click on it we go into scan points we come down here to create a scan it's going to ask us if we'd like to compress it because this is outside we've got quite a lot of scan points generally uh, set out at one quarter be 44 million scan points per scan uh, there's probably more points on this piece than what we really need to have because it's pretty close to the scanner. So we'll go ahead and compress it two to one. Uh, and now we've got ourselves a 0.1 version of the scan. Just to jump in here, we'll take a quick look at what we've done. Let's uh, view this in 3D view. Uh, 